هاي وعليكم السلام وعليكم السلام الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام 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 الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام الله وبركاته هلا هلا وعليكم السلام وعليكم السلام طيب فوكس so I've read um, by the way sound, sounds fine yeah sounds good it sounded right وعليكم السلام وعليكم السلام الحمد لله طيب um, so I've read um, I finished غزوة بدر I finished reading غزوة بدر for those that are not aware um, Maghazi Musa bin Uqba is out. It's available in Arabic. It's being translated into English. And I just decided to share some of my um, initial impressions. Ugh, you guys are... Um, okay. So my initial impressions, folks, before anything, before any, any other stuff... Uh, Arfan, it's the earliest book of Sirah. It's the earliest book of Sirah. Um, it's been lost for 400 years. And we finally have it. Um, Death Star is asking, why not doing a live stream in your house? Like, folks, folks, if you guys want, I can I can answer these questions instead of sharing my impressions. It's just going to take it's going to take a lot longer for me to get to the point. If you, if you guys want me to ask random things like that. Tayyib Death Star. So the reason, the reason why I am doing a live stream in the car and not doing a live stream at home is because I went to get some dinner and I'm outside. That's why. <laughs> okay. Um, what makes Maghazi Musa bin Aqba more authentic than other books of Sira? Um, okay, so that's actually... Okay, I can get to that. I can share thoughts on that. Anthony... You want me to refute Anthony Joshua? Or, or box him. I can box him. I don't mind boxing him. Oh, Raza, it's a very good question, yeah, Raza. It's a very good question. Wa alaikum salam, by the way. Hope you're doing good. Raza, it seems like so. Obviously, wujad is like the least um, authentic method of of tawfiq, right? Um, and you've had like a difference of opinion among classical ulama in regards to that. But alhamdulillah, like there are too many qara'in. <laughs> there are too many qara'in in regards to um, uh, the, the authenticity of these works. Um, so like sometimes, so so يعني, this is not even from a Muslim point of view, uh, but things that have to do with style. Um, things that have to do with uh, in, internal matters, internal uh, hints from the text itself. Apart from that, you have the shiuch of the the author, uh, the, the work, the, the author of the work um, that it's being attributed to. Um, most importantly, um, well, okay, so, so some other things like uh, the handwriting. Sometimes, if you're lucky enough, you can actually come across the handwriting of the author, and then sometimes we actually know the handwritings of the authors. Um, but most importantly, um, quotes from early scholars that affirm the attribution of the work. And uh, it's just the nature of things, like uh, Wajada was not something that people were um, lenient about in the past, but too much time has passed. And um, like... It's, it's just not the same. I mean, people did not uh, 
people did not hold on to the works in the way that they were in the past. They didn't teach works in the same way they did in the past. Um, external things occurred, um, like يعني, uh, um, you could you could blame uh, colonialization. You could blame. You can blame a whole number of things. Um, but yeah, in general, there aren't too many books that are taught from teacher to student, and therefore, like, Wajada needs to uh, be relied upon. And uh, it's like a matter of ijma, um, to be honest, if you think about it. Now, no one has an issue with Wajada. Um, and this is not just like a Sunni thing, obviously, it's a Sunni Shia thing. And Kufar, with Kufar, everything is Wajada. With Kufar, everything was always Wajada, yeah, in, in Western history. No one's, had a, no one's had an issue with Wajada in regards to Kufar. لا, لا رزا, not, not Qara'an from other narrations, Qara'an in terms of people quoting that work itself, um, things of that nature. From the same book, someone saying, like for example, in regards to Maghazi Musa bin Aqba, we have direct quotes. So, so here's here's an example of something that has to do with my my initial impressions of Maghazi Musa bin Aqba. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys are never gonna get to the topic, but this is a good question. Um, so, um, uh, there's this attribution to Musa bin Aqba. Where he's talking about um, a um, I believe it was against like Atafan. and he says, "I don't know when this occurred." He's like, "I don't know did this occur uh, after Badr? Did this occur before Badr? I don't know." He says that. So this quote is like uh, found. I think Al Bayhaqi quotes it. I think maybe the Habi quotes it. Like some late scholars quote it. They quote Musa bin Aqba saying those words, saying, "I don't know." I don't know when this was, uh, this occurred. Um, and now we find the manuscript that has those exact same words. So this in itself um, is something that would suggest the authenticity of the manuscript. So yeah. And the same folks, huh? Should I share impressions or should we do more questions? <clears throat> So in terms of um, my initial impressions, um, so there are some things that are really cool, that I really enjoy, they are really good, they are really important. Like one, it's the earliest book of Sirah. It, it like so because it's the earliest book of Sirah, it wouldn't matter how bad it is. <laughs> it's 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 amazing either way. We find, like we we have this book that was lost for four hundred years. And now it's back. So Alhamdulillah, that's great. That's uh, that's massive. Um, these late quotes from like Al Bayhaqi or Ibn Abdul Bar, technically. Um, now we we have like manuscript evidence for these quotes. That's that's amazing. Alhamdulillah. Um, sometimes okay, so so. Some things that I didn't like is Musa bin Aqba isn't always quoting in the Sinat, right? Um, sometimes he's not saying where he's getting these reports from. Uh, one of the good things that Muhammad al-Tabarani did is he would bring shawahid. He would say, oh, this is, by the way, you can find this in Sahih al-Bukhari, you can find something similar in Sahih al-Bukhari, you can find something in this book, that book. Uh, you can find this in the statements of Urwa bin Zubair. These things, that, that's something that Tabarani did, and to be honest, I appreciate. Um, even though I think he went over a kill with the um, footnotes uh, in in many occasions. Other impressions. I like Musa bin Aqba. I, I appreciate Musa bin Aqba saying, "I don't know." I appreciate him saying, "I don't know," because sometimes you have um, like the authors of the Sira saying, "Well, this battle occurred before that battle." And this event occurred before that event, and these like um, statements 
cause confusion because um, like it will it would contradict some other claims so Musa bin Uqba just going out there and saying I don't know is something I appreciate um, in regards to some uh, specifics um, you find less information and by the by the way like this is one of the things that makes Maghaz bin Musa, Musa bin Uqba um, the most authentic book of Sirah it's because he's careful with information that he presents um so like take for example uh, ibn ishaq and ibn hisham uh, go to the battle of badr and look at who they list um in terms of the mushrikeen and who killed them there's a lot of information and there are a lot of differences a lot of differences of opinions this guy died he was killed by this person or that person or that person uh, it, it would be like a uh, a lot, a lot of uh, differences, opinions that are recorded and whatnot. Musa bin Aqba is just like, yeah, this guy was killed. Um, he's not giving you too much information because he himself isn't sure, and it seems like he's he's not just aiming for brevity, but he's trying to be as careful as possible. Um, of course, for those that are looking for details, as much details as possible, then yeah, Ibn Ishaq would be the person to go to. Um, now. Or is, is the additional information going to be authentic? Sometimes, and sometimes not. Um, so that's one of the cool things about Musa bin Uqba. Let's see, what else? Musa bin Uqba um, sometimes explains things, or excuse me, it's not, it's not he explains things. His reports include explanations for things that you don't find elsewhere. So I'll give you an example. Um, you guys remember where, um, in the Battle of Badr, you've had the Ansar, <clears throat> before, before, um, so Utba, Utba bin, uh, Utba and Shayba, Utba bin Rabi'ah, Shayba bin Rabi'ah, and, um, like the third, I can't remember the third, they step up from the Mushrikeen. Folks, if you can remind, if you can remember the names, that would be good. If you can help me out with the names, that would be good. It's Utbah bin Rabi'ah, Shayba bin Rabi'ah, and, and who's the third one? Help me out. Al Walid? Maybe, maybe it was Al Walid. And from the Muslims, <clears throat> from the Muslims, before the Qurayshiyin stepped up, um, from from the Muslims, of course, it was Ali and Hamza and Ya Allah, who's the last one? It's always, it's always, it's always the last one that everyone forgets. It's not Amr bin As, bro. Amr bin As wasn't a Muslim back then. Ubaida, ayywa, mashallah, raza. It's, it's Ubaida, Ubaida bin Harith, I believe. Was it Ubaida bin Harith? Tayyib. Um, so. Before they stepped up, before Ubaid and uh, Ali and Hamza, عنهم جميعا, um, before they stepped up, you had three Ansaris step up. Okay? And what's really interesting is um, before they stepped up, so, so when they stepped up and they were going to fight the Mushrikeen, it says, like the, the, the narration says, and like this caused the Prophet peace be upon him to like feel an embarrassment and then he told them to go back uh, so this is something that's like found in Maghazi Musa bin Uqba and I don't think it was found anywhere else and what's special about this this uh, quote or this explanation is that it kind of ties into um, what happened earlier with uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, wanting the Ansar to join him. And before going to, to Badr, he was asking the Ansar, you know, hey, so what do you guys think? You know, what do you guys think? Waiting for the Ansar and Sa'ad bin Mu'adh, um, 
choosing or, or Saad Mu'adh saying, yes, you know, we, we will join you no matter what. We'll give you everything we have. We'll support you no matter what. He, like, so Rasulullah wanted that sort of support. And when he received it from Saad bin Mu'adh, okay, alhamdulillah, now I have the Ansar with me. And then they're facing like the Mushrikeen in this duel, in this three on three duel. So he he felt some sort of an embarrassment when that occurred. And then he and so and, and then you had the three Qurashiyin step up. And he wanted the Qurashiyin to fight the Qurashiyin. Right? And uh so that that like you have these like small details that don't seem to be um elsewhere, naturally. I mean it's a different book, right? So um, naturally, you're going to find some things in Maghazi uh, Musa bin Aqba that you don't find elsewhere. Um, so, yeah, that's something I appreciated. What else? Manhaj al Mutaqaddimin wa Manhaj al Mutaakhirin. Allah, bro. I don't think I would, Akhi. I don't think I would. Um, I'm sure you can find a lot of... Con Achy, you just asking that question suggests that you're familiar with the topic. I'm sure that's been done in Arabic. Um, oh yeah, what else? For, for those that are waiting for the book, um, it, it is being translated into English. And inshallah, it should be out... I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be out, but it shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't take too long. How big is how big is the book? Okay, so the book has three volumes, but uh, the first volume is like a study of the book. The second two volumes, um, it's like four hundred pages and then two hundred pages, so six hundred pages. But it's very heavy on footnotes. So I'd estimate that if you got rid of the footnotes, it's probably like 250 pages. Around, yeah, around that. It feels like it's 250 pages. Al-Walid bin Utbah, Jazakallah khairan Raza. How you doing Raza, yaakhi? It's been a long time, man. Were all of those footnotes found in the manuscript? Um, la la, akhi. The footnotes are additions by the editor, Muhammad Tabarani. Um, he would either like uh, say this statement was quoted by this scholar, um, you know, affirming that this is something said by Musa ibn Aqba, or he would sometimes mention differences. Oh, so here's something really interesting about Musa ibn Aqba. So um, he will he will sometimes mention reports that uh, conflict with a Sahih Hadith. He would, like for example, um, a very very famous report in which uh, a man goes up to the Prophet peace be upon him when he was at a tree, and um, the man says, of course he's a non-Muslim, he says, "Who's going to defend you from me today?" And then the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, and he, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will. And then like the man like drops his sword or something like that. Um, now, in Maghazi Musa bin Aqba, the man dies. And in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, the guy just like uh, is let go by the Prophet, peace be upon him. So... Now, even though this is the earliest book of Maghazi, um, we stick with the Sahih Hadith. And that's, again, that's one good thing. That's a very beneficial thing that uh, Muhammad al-Tabarani did, sharing uh, those uh, references um, 
for like uh, narrations that either support or contradict or conflict in the details. Yep. Pondering Spirit says, how early is this work? He passed away in the second century, bro. He passed away in the year 141. Can this be used as proof against the doubters of Hadith authenticity? Of course, Akhi. Of course. Everything can be used against the doubters of Hadith authenticity. Ricardo Estrada says, Farid, could you quickly summarize the Hadith of the sun going above the throne or something like that? Ricardo, I have a video on my channel called, um, I think it's called the Explanation of the Prostration of the Sun. Um, check that out, bro. Aywa, Commando Gamers is asking, Farid, does Musa bin Uqba provide the chains for his narrations? Usually not. Usually not. Sometimes he does. And they're really short chains, of course. But usually he doesn't. Usually it's just like uh, continuous sarat where he's just telling you of, of the events. Abdullah, it's been, it's, I, I have received the book today, man. I've received the book today. I haven't read through the full thing. Um, UF, how do we know the book is, was written by him? It's many, many evidences or lots of types of evidence, but the main one is quotations. Quotations from, from early scholars that are quoting the same material that we find in the manuscript. What else? Oh, yuck. Um, I'm not sure, Adam Yahya. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have the first volume of the book. I just got the second and the third. Uh, is it the only book from Musa bin Aqba? I think it is. Zakallah khair ya Sami. Uh, Ibn Jama, I'm, I'm, I just finished Badr, yaqi. Will there be a PDF? Uh, Walid, yaqi, um, I'm sure that someone's going to make scans and put up online, but uh, I'm against this, man, because the publisher spent a good chunk of money making this available. And uh, yeah, the reality, folks, the reality is that editors usually um, either like live off of this stuff or you know they, they yani, them and the publishers like this the, the the whole industry revolves around selling books um, if and, and there have been many bookstores that have shut down and publishers that have shut down due to a lack of um, demand due to PDFs. Okay. So if everyone was just doing PDFs, it, okay, it would kill knowledge. It would kill ilm. Unfortunately, this is the reality. Um, it's, it is a business. It is an industry. And we're benefiting from this industry, by the way. We're, alhamdulillah, we're benefiting from this industry. I don't mind that the publisher is making some cash. I don't mind that the the yeah any editor if he is I don't even I don't know if he is um, uh, we can assume but if he is I don't mind that he's making some cash because if they didn't it would it would hurt uh, the industry <sighs> well it well it's just like okay. Okay. Tabban lak. Ha Walid. Much love Walid. Barakallahu fiik habibi. Do we know who Musa bin Aqba's teachers and students were? We do. Where was the manuscript discovered though? Okay, I don't I don't have the first volume, man. You got to ask someone with the first volume. As soon as I know, I'll tell you guys. 
Is the Sira book confused on a certain part of the Prophet's history? Or is it a comprehensive compilation of his history? Uh, naturally, like Musa bin Aqba doesn't know every single thing. He knows a lot. But like he says in some parts, he's like, I, I don't know where it is. Um, I don't know where the... I mean, he's like, I don't know when this happened. I'm not sure about the dates of this specific incident. Right? How much would the cost of the translation? Do you mean like a copy of a translated uh, version of the book? It's not going to be too expensive. These books are too expensive to buy, especially if you live in a third world country. Sometimes they are. Reza says, I agree, we need to support our bookstores wherever they are. We can't let the Jeff Bezoses of the world make everything digital or we will truly lose knowledge. Shahban Hussein says, Farid, I think you should start publishing your own books to help the da'wah spread. Um, I kind of do. Dar al publishes my books, bro. Um, am I the only one who doesn't know who Musa bin Aqba is? Well, um, I'm, I'm trying to change that. Ayo Adam Yahya says, if PDFs are a big problem, does that mean that laymen should have limited access to resources? Since laymen today have more access back or have have more access back then, is that a good thing? Well, Ayo Adam, what I think is, if someone has the ability to buy a book, then they should buy it. I think that's it. If it's something that you want, then you should buy. If you don't have money, okay, that's something else. So, so you're buying. Um, because you want to support it, I think that that's the main thing that should be in mind. And I mean, the same thing applies. Actually, the same thing applies to to all sorts of media. Yeah, people will uh, will buy an original Blu-ray DVD. I don't know if Blu-rays are still in, but yeah, that's what people will do. Instead of uh, downloading, uh, you know, a torrent file or something. Why? It's because they want to support the makers of the movie, right? And and this, yeah, you have secular people thinking this way. Why shouldn't Muslims support publishers? I have not, Yah Muhammad Said. And Ibi says PDFs have their issues. If I can't get the book and there's a PDF, I'll read. The PDF, then purchase the book. Usually, I feel the same way. Achi. I feel the same way. Like I, I swear to myself, there are some books that I've read in PDF. If I ever saw them, and I do look around actively looking for them, if I do find them, I'd pick them up. Definitely. Dawa Era Global says governments should uh, subsidy. Subsidy, like for Islamic books. Um, actually, this book was being given out for free by the Kuwaiti government. My copy is a free copy that was printed by the Kuwaiti government. Um, but uh, like uh, the shipping cost me uh, quite a bit. <laughs> Um, Omar XD wa alaikum as -salam. just wanted to know um, that is the project of translating Maghazi into English going on yes it is bro yes it is how was the story of Hijra mm. Abdul Aziz yeah the book is in Saudi الكتاب موجود والله نسيت اسم المكتبة دار ال دار ال يا أخي شوف ادخل على ال search engine اللي على تويتر واكتب مغازي موسى بن عقبة وإن شاء الله يطلع لك الكتاب 
بس الكتاب موجود في السعودية 100% مغازي مينز um, like battles ما ادري يا اخي ما ادري عن تدمورية بس ادخل على تويتر احسن شيء تدخل على تويتر ثواني شباب بس ساك مغازي means raids, battles, or military campaigns. طيب جزاك الله خير أنا شفت بجوجل ما طلع لي خير شيء قديم نسخة إيه لا لا ما عليك بالنسخة المستخرجة. أم... ولا تشوف على جوجل يا أخي لا تشوف على جوجل لأن جوجل يطل... يطلع لك أم... Google results won't give you like the news won't give you the updated info. You want to go to the accounts off the bookstores to find the book. Stream Cheese is asking, are you Shia? Um, Yeah, I disagree, Awalid. I disagree. <laughs> stream cheese. It's a, it's a strange question, stream cheese. It's a very strange question. آه خالد اللي شدني بالكتاب انه هو اول كتاب في السيره يا اخي يعني الواحد ايش يحتاج اكثر من هذا ايوه شوف عبد العزيز هاي هاي هو الموضوع سو وات هابند جايز از ذات وين مغازي موسى بن عقبه واز اناونسد فور ذا فيرست تايم This was two years ago. <sighs> Muhammad Tabarani uh, put out an advertisement, and the advertisement has like a picture of the book and everything. And I, and خلاص, and the book is coming out soon. Um, I think it was this year. We have uh, an Ibrahim Al Jazairi. He also. worked on the book and he also put an advertisement out um so like you see that's the thing with تحقيقات. when you have a book that's lost it's been lost for centuries there's a race multiple people start working on that specific book trying to get it out for the first time so that's what's happening that's why you got Ibrahim al Jazairi instead of Muhammad Tabarani يلا فوكس يلا نشوفكم على خير ان شاء الله بارك الله فيكم ام غير باونس السلام عليكم الله وبركاته